For those of you who are out of the loop, as I'm recording this, it's been about 12 hours since the Boruto and Naruto block at Jump Fest to 23. As you'd expect, there were some Naruto announcements there. Sasuke Retsuden is being adapted as part of the Boruto anime and is going to be followed by the code arc from the manga, and people who live in Japan get to do a whole bunch of cool Naruto stuff because there's going to be a Naruto art gallery there, some live Naruto music performances there, uh, but you can probably tell from the title, I don't want to focus on either of those things. What I'm most interested in is the first announcement. At first, I was mad about this because they made a big deal about, like, they, they showed three scrolls on the big screen in the venue and they were like we have three big announcements for you guys and they open the first scroll and it's a worldwide character popularity poll i was like oh my god i came in like they're i'm gonna leave empty-handed they have nothing i, I was just like they, they really don't have any actual projects that didn't make sense to me but then a little bit of time passed and they said something crazy the winner of this poll is gonna get their own spin-off manga drawn and written by kishimoto himself now look even though I've been hard on Boruto in the past, I've mostly chilled out on it. I think it's fine. I think it's a decent read. I caught up on the manga last year, and I don't regret doing it. However, at least in my opinion, Boruto is no Naruto. Ikimoto doesn't do it for me like Kishimoto does. Now, look, I, I, I don't want to make this a Boruto video. I don't want to make this a video where I complain about Boruto or talk about why I like Naruto better. That's not the point. I'm here to talk about Naruto and why I'm excited about Naruto stuff and how cool this could be for Naruto in the future. All right. So first of all, another thing for those of you who are out of the loop, I'm going to put a link to the poll in the description of this video so that you can go cast your vote if you're interested. But I want to talk about what I think people should vote for. Not, and I, I, I swear to God, it's not because, strictly because anyway, I like certain characters more than others, okay? But it's because I think that certain characters have more storytelling potential than others do. I don't think there's anything wrong with liking any given character more than another character, right? Like your favorite character can be Akamaru, Jirobo, Moegi, the Ten Tails. I literally don't care. It's fine. I just really don't want like Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Itachi, characters like that who already have plenty of supplementary material to win the poll. Kakashi and Sasuke have multiple light novels between them. Kakashi has his own anime on Boo filler arc. Sasuke has his own anime arc and he's about to get another arc in the anime. Then there's Naruto who's the main character. The series is named after him. Hopefully I don't have to explain why why it would be disappointing if Naruto won the poll and Kishimoto made a Naruto spinoff focused on Naruto. I really don't care who wins the poll as long as it's not one of them. I think Naruto's cast is filled with characters with tons of storytelling potential, especially because so many of them come from different points in time in different parts of the world. Even though the manga is going to be short, I think if the right character wins, it'll be an excellent opportunity for Kishimoto to do some more world building and really captivate people using the setting again. I'll even do some quick pitches based on potential winners. If Madara wins, we'll probably see some more stuff from the Warring States period, and we might get introduced to a lot of new characters from the Uchiha and Senju clans, maybe even other people from outside those two clans who also participated in the war. We could get a more in-depth look into the formation of the Hidden Leaf Village, find out if Madara participated in the First Great Ninja War, see how he met Zetsu, and the series would probably end with him meeting Obito or giving Nagato his Rinnegan. Speaking of Nagato, I think a spin-off focused on him and the other two Rain Village orphans would be incredible. There are a million different ways to approach it. It could start before or after Yaya. Mahiko died before or after their meeting with Jiraiya, and I'd even be happy with a short manga focused on the Hidden Rain Civil War that took place shortly before Jiraiya showed up to fight Pain. We could get a brutal scene, maybe even a whole chapter of him killing everybody that Hanzo knows and all of their family members like one of the Rain Villagers claims he did. Minato, <laughs> it, it would probably just be a series of him doing, doing cool shit in the Third Great Ninja War, honestly. This one would probably have the most fights in it, maybe it would focus on him training Obito, Kakashi, and Rin, though something that I'd really Really, really like to see is him interact with Jiraiya more. We hear a lot about the relationship between these two, so I'd actually like to see them interact. Speaking of Jiraiya, I think everybody would love a Jiraiya spinoff, and with him specifically, there's so much that you can pull from. I'd love to see more of the Second Great Ninja War, the entirety of the fight with Hanzo, the creation of Team Hiruzen, more of his interactions with the Rain Village Orphans. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff that you could do with him. As much as I make fun of him, I'd honestly be interested in seeing like a Toby Rama spinoff, because I mean, he's responsible for creating a a lot of the Leaf Village's infrastructure. Seeing him deal with all of these complex political problems while dealing with the stress of the death of his brother could be really compelling. Even like weird characters who aren't even super popular like Sakon could be great for something like
like this. I don't know if you guys ever played Gamma Story in Sonic Adventure, but something like that is what I had in mind. Getting to see the life of one of Orochimaru's henchmen through their own eyes sounds super sick. From all of the mundane horrors of just living in one of Orochimaru's hideouts to seeing the experiments performed on them. Like, I am being so serious when I say that if Sakon wins this poll, or like even Kimimaro or any of the other sound ninja who worked for Orochimaru, if they win this poll, we could get some of the best chapters in all of Naruto out of it. Speaking of, an Orochimaru spinoff would probably be pretty cool, seeing him leave the Leaf Village, do all of his weird creepy stuff, acquire all of the jutsu, like seeing how he learned to do Edo Tensei. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I think that the sky is the limit with something like this, as long as, as long as, as long as a boring character doesn't win the poll. I, I, I want to sort of create this like organize, I want to sort of create this like community driven, organized movement with the goal of preventing Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, or Itachi from winning the poll, right? But that would require me telling people who to vote for, and I don't, I don't want to do that. Like seriously, vote for whoever you want, whether it's your favorite character or who you'd be most interested in reading a spinoff about. I honestly don't care, and I'd feel like a huge dickhead telling people that like they, they have an obligation to vote for character A or character B or whatever. Even if I had the ability to mind control everybody who voted and make them pick who I wanted, I don't know if I would use it because this list is so comprehensive that I kind of want to see how it turns out organically. In case you still haven't gone over to the site, it's not like a type in whoever you want type of thing. You do have to pick from a list of characters, but that list includes everybody that you could think of. And I don't just mean a lot of characters. I don't even mean all of the relevant characters. I mean everybody. You can vote for each of the six different paths of pain separately. If you really want, you can pick between the first animal path that Jiraiya fought and the second animal path that invaded the Hidden Leaf Village. Want to vote for Juzo Biwa as your favorite character from the Naruto manga? Go for it. Is your favorite character Tessa? You know that girl from the Allied Shinobi Forces? Are you a huge fan of the Daimyo of the Land of Lightning? You want a Demon Brothers manga spinoff? Do you want to see a spinoff manga about the bird that Sasuke summoned to fight Donzo? I mean it. You can pick any of the characters that I've listed, and they probably aren't even the most obscure. I voted for Madara, though my second and third choices would probably be Minato and Obito. I didn't mention this, but I think it would be really cool to see the uh, creation of the Akatsuki, seeing Obito run things behind the scenes. And I want to hear what you guys have to say. Who did you vote for? What was your reason for voting for them? And aside from your main vote, would you be okay with or excited for anybody else winning the poll? Most importantly, though, take care and thanks for listening. Till next time, Swag Kage out. Bye.